Hey everyone, Gregor Artero here. I wanted to talk about three new coils I'm offering now in my store. Uh, the first one being the hexagram, the Star of David the Seal Solomon. You've seen me with this one before. Uh, I'm getting these 24 karat gold plated this week. There's like an 8 karat on them right now. Uh, I'm really interested in getting the 24 karat. I'm actually getting them plated by the place who does the Oscars here in LA. And so uh, this feels amazing with the 8 karat. I can only begin to describe uh, how phenomenal this feels and where this can also go with the 24 karat when it's pure, understanding the essence of gold and the power of gold. And so the Star of David, the Seal of Solomon, the hexagram represents the balance of the yin and the yang, the higher self and the lower self, the balance of the conscious and the unconscious aspects of your being. And so these are two triangles united. Uh, I also have the double uh, square uh, octogram. This is an 8-2 ratio. It skips every two. And so this represents the balance of the elements, balance of masculine, feminine, fire, masculine, feminine, earth, air, water, and so on. And so this is great for uh, commanding for things within the matrix of your reality and uh, the physical elements. Uh, where this one is great for commanding aspects within yourself, working with aspects of your divine self. And, and that relationship between you and your higher self, which is, which is all encompassing with the matrix. And so on the oldest copy of the Old Testament is this set of geometry laid out, the hexagram within the octogram. And who knows when the last time these two have been unified as so. Uh, when you unify these aspects of the elemental consciousness and the divine consciousness together. Um, is very profound. I actually had a, a vision of these two unifying sometime down the road. And I also have a pentagram, and the pentagram uh, is the is used for like invoking and banishing spirits. And what I mean by spirits, some people refer these to as demons. That's Tomas Verde in the background, by the way, here at the Chicken Coop. If you hear that uh, lovely blow horn, um, we're getting ready for Burning Man. There's a lot going on. Um, anyways that the pentagram, the spirits, so great example, there's 24 spirits in the day, one for every hour. It's an embodiment of those specific energies. There's 360 spirits in the zodiac, which stretch all over you know, a period of a day. Uh, uh, there's a spirit for each day of the week, and so it's a Thursday right now, the day of Jupiter, which is, is very uh, related to my archetype, um, and so I'm born on a Thursday. And so the energy of Jupiter is with me intrinsically. And so the idea of Banishing, say, Mercury from your field would then make it so Mercury retrograde doesn't affect you. And so this can be a good thing, this can be a bad thing in terms of invoking and banishing these energies into your being. And so when I say banishing the spirit of Mercury, you can say that spirit of Mercury is a part of your field. It's like a part, it's like a section of your brain, you could almost say, like a very specific section. You can look at a very biological but also very metaphysical context. And so these three all have different uses. So I recently got uh, a nice second degree burn here and so right when this happened this is the first time I felt I had great success with one of the coils in healing on the spot was placing this over this and uh, uh, banishing the fire elemental and it really wasn't banishing it the intent I used and the language I used was was releasing it bringing it back to balance and I brought more water elemental in to balance the fire and my focus with, with that whole meditation was bringing the elementals all back into balance. And obviously, I could feel the fire elemental was most uh, lapsed. This is the best I've ever had a second degree heal. And that was from working with the pyramid. And so these tools all have profound different uses. And they're all intrinsic aspects of nature. And that the outside to inside diameter, the ratio is 2. This is the square root of 2. This is 2 phi the golden ratio, two times the golden ratio minus two. Um, uh, those were all the first dimensional ratios, and if you want to do a second dimensional ratio, which might not be of interest to you, but you'd square root those uh, uh, to get those specific ratios. These ratios are fundamental in mathematics, they're fundamental concepts, they are, they are interval relationships within the fractal matrix. 
and when we captivate them in these coils, these coils put this light into a very specific pathway that has a very qualitative aspect in terms of how it relates to our consciousness, it relates to the matrix, matrix as a whole. So there's both metaphysical and technological applications. And you've heard, there's, my channel's talked many times about these technological ap applications in terms of a resonant circuit and that this uh, hexagram is a zero impedance resonant circuit, aka you could say like perpetual motion, but it's understanding that you're taking all aspects of the system, everything in the environment and bringing everything into coherence. So there is no distance, friction is distance. And so that has a technological application, but all this language, everything I'm saying, there's, it's side by side between the metaphysical and the technological, in that when you have that aspect in resonance, these are in turn perfect mirrors. And how do those mirrors reflect our consciousness, our awareness, and all the energy within the system as a whole? And so I hope that uh, enlivened all of you. These are now being um, offered. Uh, I have, I think I just have the hexagram up on my website for 333. Uh, this guy is 432. This guy is 444. Um, they're made out of a bronze stainless steel mix. And then they're going to be played in 8 carat and then 24 carat on top of that. Um, and so thank you for watching. And everyone, enjoy your day. And feel free to ask any questions. You can learn more about my stuff at www.gregor.ninja and as well as my uh, new startup company, Prometheus Initiative, a project I began with this channel uh, over six years ago at www.energy-startup.com. So thank you and blessings, everyone.